Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascendant Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and free that you stay. Only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative points of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Oh, <laughs> the judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into this terror reading. And real quickly, I think this group that I have been picking up on, I think I finally understand what is going on with these people. There's a community of people that came together to try and destroy someone, especially a feminine energy. It could be two people, a king of cups and uh, an empress energy. They've been trying to destroy. They don't want these two coming together for some reason. For the feminine energy, there's something where these people, they have been trying to find a way to destabilize your foundation. Um, so if you have like finances saved up or you work a good job or you're comfortable in life, don't, they don't want you being comfortable. What these people, what I'm picking up on is initially what it is they started doing. Um, they were doing like petty stuff, like mental games and things like that. And maybe you became immune to that stuff and you stopped giving two hits what these people were doing. So they got offended, their egos got stroke or bruised, whatever you want to call it. They started doing dark magic, going to practitioners to send you ending spells disease spells sickness all kinds of spell works okay uh they even went farther and started invading your privacy there's some type of HIPAA violation that's been going on um because they want you to get caught up in some type of situation you're not able to get out of you don't have any money to get you out you don't want you don't have anyone to assist you out of it these people have even been paying people behind the scenes to do you something and paying people behind the scenes to keep their mobs hush don't say anything. If anyone asks any questions, we don't know what they're talking about. Okay, we haven't been doing anything. You don't know me. I don't know you. Or we don't know anything they're talking about. So there's a, a oath of silence between these people. Um, something they've been doing is looking into people's backgrounds to see what it is they can find about you to get you trapped up in something. So if you're sick, maybe they've find something in your health records that they want to use against you to blackmail you or something. Um, if you are, if maybe if you went to jail before, they want to expose that. Say, you want to go towards this person, we're going to tell them you went to jail before. They're not going to want to be with you. Um, if you owe a company some money and the company wasn't really bothering you, they found some type of way to get that company to sue you for the money that they owe you. They're hoping that you more than likely don't show up to the court case or something like that. And then maybe your wages are being garnished or you get picked up for some type of ridiculous situation and get locked up. And then you end up, you know, maybe losing your stability. God forbid you have kids, the kids get taken away. Like there's something where a group of people are just really bitter, insecure, just damaged on the inside. Um, and they are going above and beyond to destroy other people's lives. But there's something that's backfiring. And I know that because we started with the eight of swords, Followed by the Three of Cups, which means these people, there's something that's going on with them. They didn't expect something like this to be happening. While they're in some type of either mental imprisonment or someone is going to be getting locked up. Because what I've been hearing is that there were laws that were violated. Some type of rights were violated. Uh, I keep hearing HIPAA, HIPAA, defamation, slander, and all of that. There is going to be some type of court case that comes out of this and it's going to lead, land these people in some really sticky situations they won't be able to get out of. Something I've been picking up on for the last couple of weeks is that there was a plan by a group of people. There could be some type of court case that's going on that you're not supposed to know about. It's supposed to be like a surprise. Um, you are supposed to like show up somewhere and someone is supposed to show up and serve you papers or something. And you're supposed to be really shocked that you're being served. 
you're supposed to be really uh, devastated and things like that. And it's because there's something these people have done where it's like they've, uh, they've uh, um, invaded people's lives in ways where it's like they have access to bank accounts. They know what you have in your bank accounts. They know who you're communicating with and things like that. And some of these cases they're coming up with against you all are just the right amount to dismantle your foundation. So if you end up in a court case where you have to pay an institution money back, once you pay the institution money, you don't have any savings. It's what they're trying to do because these are people that are just... It's like the mental state of these kind of people is really deplorable and it's really sad and pathetic to see people go into this extent to destroy other people. On the masculine side, the King of Cups, there's like a wife or a mother figure that's trying to steal something from a masculine. Um, it could be that maybe he has some money that came in. Maybe he worked really hard to build something or maybe something was left for him by a family. But there's either a wife or a mother figure in his life that has been trying to steal something from him. And you need to be mindful because this is someone that's very committed to dismantling your foundation. She does not want to see you happy uh, anywhere else. While these people are plotting on ending, planning on stealing something, they could even be planning on stealing something from the feminine energy. I've been picking up on two specific divine couples that are supposed to be coming together but people don't want them coming together and they've been going above and beyond to wreak havoc um it's like they want the masculine to stay in some type of toxic situation and then the 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 karmic group may even be intimidated by the feminine energy in the divine union so is that because they're intimidated by you because they're jealous of you uh it's like they're going even farther, harder to destroy you because it's like, how dare you be, you be a, 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 a light worker? How dare you be beautiful? How dare you be smart? We told people you're dumb or something like that. It's a lot of just, they're feeling intimidated. And, <clears throat> and what these people are doing is some type of scarcity uh, illusion that they're magic that they're doing. And I don't think it's working on whoever it is they're supposed to be that they're, they're doing this to and this is because you already know what it is these people are doing these people have martyred themselves destroyed themselves they had a right for a tower um and when they come out of this tower they will learn how to use their senses the brain cells that the universe gives them and i'm sorry to sound so like just direct with it but it's like people have brains and they just refuse to use it when you're going this far as this far to try to destroy people that have done nothing to you you have to know you have some type of mental illness i said mental illness and this comes out you have to have some type of mental illness um also there's something about these people being worried about i don't know if it's like a wealthy man or a wealthy woman or the court system balancing something out and giving someone something in order to end this karmic chapter these people are fighting or going through a lot of uh uh arguments I, i've been hearing a masculine that's been yelling for the past couple of days it's like he's just yelling he's pissed off i don't care what he's pissed off at but i would just like to stop hearing him yelling but someone is very pissed off they're they may be arguing about a court case being balanced out something going in a star seed's favor something being illuminated or you knowing about something they're not happy about that because they wanted it to be a surprise for you or something like that. It was supposed to be surprise. Like, uh, oh my gosh. I'm getting, Yeah, it was supposed to be heartbroken. You weren't supposed to know. They were supposed to be sneaking you, right? You weren't supposed to know that you were being taken to court. You weren't supposed to know that uh, something was going on. It was supposed to also be, I keep hearing the word garnishment. It was supposed to be a situation where your wages will be being garnished by someone. It's like, oh, by a company. It said, well, um, she's being garnished now. And then maybe your boss was supposed to step in and terminate your employment. Um, or you were supposed to be barely making it. Even if he decided or she decided to keep you in that position, you were barely supposed to be making it uh, in the first place. Because the little bit of money your boss was never, more than likely was never going to give you a raise. Was never going to promote you to anything. Um, but you were supposed to stay in like a tight knit position where you're barely making ends meet. And then this this other institution is garnishing your wages like these people these kind of people you gotta feel sorry for them because this is like such a pathetic way to live think and behave uh you may even have someone in this 
community that may be needing your assistance now and they don't even know how to ask for your assistance because they were a part of whatever this is they were absolutely collaborating with this family before and maybe they're having some type of epiphany about you now that you are actually a queen of pentacles and they may want to have a relationship with you build with you um and they may have chosen to separate themselves from this community and maybe come towards you to give you some type of uh communication some type of uh commitment um they could be going through karma they've been plotting on betraying you with this institution so i would throw it with caution as well um there's some type of thing where these people are planning an ending for someone it's like they want to trap you and all of this has to do with jealousy and animosity for no reason no reason at all it's because someone finds you to be beautiful someone is attracted to you and they're like why are you attracted to this person they're pissed off because you're coming out of the cold, things are balancing out in your life. You're still committed to your work, your path. Um, but what they want to do is trap you with some type of communication, just like I said. So you being served, that would have been the entrapment. Uh, you being trapped in your head about receiving some type of communication from the courts that you are being sued or whatever this is. Okay, it was supposed to be a surprise. But you, as a Queen of Cups, you are going to have victory. You're showing up as an uh, Empress energy as well, and you're very genuine, and you're going to be moving on with your life, which has these people burdened and worried out here because they're self sabotage and they're stuck in some type of situation they cannot get out of. Meanwhile, you're moving on with your life, ending this chapter successfully, and starting a new. Uh, a brand new passionate beginning taking a new path in life wiser than you wiser now or uh, uh, wiser you'll be then than when you were in the past than what you were in the past excuse me or even today you're wiser today than you were in the past right and it has these people living in fear everything the way things are playing out it has these people living in fear they they are afraid of a tower that they know is coming because these are people that do divination they understand that there is karma coming for someone of high honor in a community high honor okay and this is something the ancestors of the universe have decided because something needs to be balanced out they've been trying to take your resources your income everything they're out here like these people are pissed off because you're still working you still have a position you're still out maybe in the public eye if you're someone that has a platform you have a job that's uh pretty sturdy like they're pissed off about this all of this has to do with jealousy insecurity maybe the light within you bothers the demons within within these people and some of them may even want to come to worship if you friendship and you're not interested like they've worked really hard to Make sure two people don't come together, but it looks like they're still coming together. And while you two will be coming together, these people will be going through karma. Um, this is just really, I don't know. I keep hearing the word pathetic. This is really pathetic. It is like that, you know, people that just don't grow out of their kinder, or kin, uh, uh, um, kindergarten mindset. Yeah, this was a plot to trap a queen of pentacles in a situation um you were supposed to be out here confused angry bitter or something like that um just deficit steady confused about how life is going why the universe has forsaken you things like that whatever this is um but the truth is in trapping these people in something they cannot get out of um people are not confused people are looking into something if there is like a court case something is going to be looked into it's like people basically getting out of the comfort of their lives to go look for problems for themselves but they're under some type of illusion that they're causing problems for you and i'm telling you the truth is out you could be a queen of swords you may have spoken your truth someone may have confessed the truth behind the scenes with the eight page of cups out here in the queen of swords in the is a source some type of truth has been illuminated and it's balancing something out these people are going through karma behind the scenes whatever secret they were keeping is not a secret anymore the whole group is living in fear feeling way down and burdened not knowing which direction to go in um it's almost it said oh my gosh i told you that was not gonna work i told you it wasn't gonna work he wasn't gonna show up she wasn't gonna show up something like that but someone keeps yelling behind the scenes like and these people are watching you but it's like they're pissed off because something did not go according to plan and something is about to be balanced for a light worker out here 
because the truth is known. But I keep hearing someone screaming behind the scenes or just pissed off by something. They just knew like a plan was not going to work out. Um, there's someone where it's like, yeah, the truth is out about who you are, darling. Your new beginning is here. Clarity is in the situation. Some type of divine judgment has been made. You could be even like a practitioner that has made a decision, has caused some type of judgment in the situation and the universe is supporting you. So you are definitely a queen of source as well. Speaking your truth, bringing clarity into a situation and it's bothering a lot of people. I said the universe or spirit supports you right here. They go. They absolutely support you in your decisions, in the judgments that you make in life because you've done the work to heal. You've done the work to help elevate and things like that, help other people. Um, so you're coming out of the cold. Things are being balanced out for you. If you lost anything in the past, the universe is balancing it out for you. You are a queen of wands as well. Um, the universe wants you to know that you are secure. Um, you don't have anything to worry about. Victories, victory is your is that victories. So you have a quite you have more than one victory coming in. Um, but the universe wants you to know you have victory. Okay, and this has your uh, um your foes, your enemies living in fear. Whatever it is, they've been plotting against you. They're living in fear of the truth coming out or being exposed. If you didn't know what it was, well now you're about to know. Okay, they are they are afraid of someone. I don't know if someone is afraid of uh, of other people maybe wanting to be friends with you, wanting to apologize to you, wanting to extend a uh, friendship, an uh, olive branch to you. Um, but they're heartbroken of, because of what they invested in. Um, okay, like literally everything that these people tried to take from you, steal from you, the universe is replenishing and they're advising you to just keep going. I don't know why a group of people are this invested in destroying another person. It's really sad. Uh, and it's really embarrassing because these are people that are a lot of the times older than you, the one they're coming after, or they may have even gotten, yeah, people that are, that should know better, all right? People that should be wise and have something to teach you, but this is like a group of karmic people that got together with hate as the common denominator for someone that didn't do anything to them. Um, but they may have even gotten family, young family members, young friends, hire young strangers to bully people, uh, just do some really embarrassing things out here. I'm telling you, young people, they hire young people to do some really embarrassing things out here. Some of these young folks may be even afraid that they're going to end up going to jail or something. Um, but at the end of the day, all the trickery, the manipulation, the conflict magic, the voodoo, he do, she do, co do, we don't do because we are light workers. Um, it's all backfiring because two people are still coming together. They're still building their empire. They're still going to be establishing everything it, that, it, that they want. They're going to be like building their own community from the ground up. They're going to invest in it and they're going to be very fulfilled in life. Okay. It may end up pissing people off, but I don't think that anybody cares about that. Yeah. These two are going to be very fulfilled in their union together. These are two higher level soulmates. They have done the work or are doing the work to heal. And it has people out here very much pressed. Okay, pressed. They're pressed trying to figure out on a way on how they can stop you two from coming together. Because they need this masculine to stay toxic. They need him to stay binded to some type of situation he does not want to be a part of. They want to keep him stuck. Move, stop him from moving forward. Have him living in fear, okay? So they can cause him a tower as well. But this man is leaving, and that's what's actually causing them a tower. He's leaving to go be somewhere genuine, uh, to go be where he's going to be poor into, supported, and things like that. He may be going somewhere to go and give to someone. It says someone may have even been trying to come towards you for a long time, and people have been lying to him or trying to block him from taking the initiative to do something that he wanted to do. Um, but the universe has its own way of working things out. I'm telling you, these people are burdened. There's some type of message that they received that has left to them being burdened that maybe something didn't go accordingly. Uh, like, you're still alive. They, they weren't able to take you out. Maybe there was a plot to just end you so you wouldn't be out here in the public eye or whoever you are. This was a plot to block you or stop you from being out in the public eye. They were going to take some type of reckless action to just 
and your resources, your confidence, your security uh, to block you and someone from being able to meet. Um, but when you and someone meet, it's going to be very, uh, like, in sync is what I'm hearing. Like, something, I hear synchronicity. Um, like, you two are going to be really inseparable. You'll be very affluent, very uh, um, successful and abundant. This is a king of cups that you're going to be connecting with. But there is, and I don't think he's naturally a king of cups. I think he's in that energy for you. But this is possibly someone that could be like a king of swords, king of pentacles energy. Or maybe even a king of wands. Um, but there is a narcissistic king of cups out here that's very determined to destroy someone else. Um, because he does not want this person having a new beginning. This is a king of cups that could be trying to de uh, destroy, stop, block. A king of pentacles from moving on with his life. Um, he does not want this man to have a new beginning. I don't know if he's like emotionally uh, attracted to this man. And maybe the man doesn't know that he's attracted to him. Um, but there's a tower coming. There's some type of revelation going on. And it's bringing in clarity for people that don't have it in this community. I think there may be like a king of cups reverse that has... Uh, desires for another man and I don't know if the man knows that and that's why he's trying to stop him from moving forward so he could be feeding him a lot of like lies sending him a lot of communications calls text messages emails and things like that I don't know what this is but every time this king of cuts reverse shows up it just I guess like this really uncomfortable feeling this really just dark energy just takes over and I just don't like it but there's some type of secret this man has um, that he's trying to hide or his ego is just is just bruised really horribly okay whatever truth you spoke out has brought something to rest um yeah it's putting something to rest but there's someone behind the scenes that still wants to keep going and maybe whatever it is they're doing they're hiding it i mean at this point nothing is really a secret because after a while when karmics do something so repeatedly nothing is really surprising anymore you kind of just sit back and just watch what it is that's going on and say oh here they come here they come with the new shenanigans they're going to be doing the same thing it is what it is no surprise and then they kind of get offended because you're not surprised about what it is that's going on it's something like that that's playing out okay uh you're coming out of the cold and you know kind of just trying to balance things out in your life going through the emotions man managing things the best way you can you may have another woman another empress behind the scenes that's going through some type of stalemate uh has been trying to cause a stalemate for someone else but it's like basically what i've been picking up is like what these people are going through is what it is they wanted you to go through there's something they've been doing for money um, and I don't know if it has to do with like a 10 of pentacles. Um, they've been doing some type of manipulation in the court system to keep some type of 10 of pentacles. And this is over. This is over. Like this chapter of being able to steal, take what does not belong to them is over. Like the, I'm telling you, it's done because there's something that's known. Okay. And someone is taking some type of action to balance something out. So it may be the court knows or someone of high honor knows who something belongs to or who the right person is to invest in, uh, to partner up with. And they're choosing to balance it out. So they're moving on. And it has this family really afraid and uh, just pissed off at the same time because these are narcissistic people that never see the wrong in whatever it is they're doing. They don't care. They, all they care about is money. All they care about is money. I keep hear one, hearing someone saying, I don't give a S-H-I-T. Okay, keep going. Something like that. I don't give a S -H -T. Yeah, she said to keep going. Um, It could be a man. Who knows? But someone said to keep going. They don't give a S-H-I-T. Uh, there's a lot of money on the line or something. The money they're never going to get. <laughs> I heard again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're trying to put a stop to someone coming towards you to give you an offer. They're trying to... Keep something, like something you've invested in, they're pissed off that you get to keep it. I mean, it's yours. You didn't steal from someone. You didn't You didn't borrow from anyone. Like you worked hard to build what it is you have or to develop what it is that you have or create what it is that you have. And they're pissed off at the fact that you are still investing into it and you get to keep it. This is the secret they were trying to hide. Okay. They don't want two people coming together and they don't want you to be uh, abundant in life. Both of you, they want to destroy 
you two being happy together, okay? You can you could even have a queen of pentacles that was against you before, wanting to come in to give you some type of friendship, and she's worried that you're going to reject her. Someone may be sick now. I don't know what it is she's sick from. It may just be some type of mental breakdown she's going through. I don't know. I really don't care what these people are going through because this is karma. Um, the universe knows what's best. So whatever they're going through, it must be just to, okay? Um... But this group here, there's some type of clarity about them. There's some type of confession. Um, they may be telling the truth now about what it is they've been doing behind the scenes to cause blockages, block an offer from from being made, trying to hold on to something that don't belong to them, or this is what's coming up that's going to be taking place. You may have had a queen of swords and an empress energy working together, paying to have something blocked or have something stopped, have something control. Has someone be able to keep something? Uh, you may have had actually four women or three women working together, uh, possibly within the same community or different community, just linked up together to come up against you and your partner, um, soon to be partner or something, to just block block something, stop you, control control your destiny. And they, they've been trying to keep you a secret, but you are not a secret anymore. The truth is out. I think the universe is kind of fed up with these people. They may want to calm down because if they don't, people are about to start dropping their flies or something, getting sick, losing things, and people that they probably don't want to, okay? Um, there's something in here about a queen of pentacles. I don't know if it has something to do with her child. Whatever this is, I don't want to touch on it. I, I don't really like touching on stuff like that. But there's something going on here with a child that's going to be looked into. Maybe a child even feels burdened. They may have some type of confession they need to make. Whatever they say, honey, I don't, I don't want to get into that one. Children, uh, uh, no, thank you. Uh, but who um, you are being told to stay committed and keep investing. You, uh, whatever it is you are committed to and investing in will turn around. It will be abundant. You are going to have your victory, your success, your new beginning. You are going to be someone that's very affluent. There's some type of big ending that's coming. And I, what I'm hearing is that it is absolutely necessary so that this chapter can be over. Someone is about to be, or a group of people are about to be trapped in something that's going to end up weighing them down in ways that they cannot imagine. Okay? They are out here afraid of their secrets being exposed. There's just too much coming out. Maybe at some point they had control over the situation. Um, they were able to just take any moves. If someone felt invincible before, that he or she could just do whatever they wanted and they would be protected. But I think someone does not have the protection that they believe the, that they have. People may not be sighing with them anymore. I think people are just kind of done. Something has become really redundant at this point and people are just kind of over it. Is that what the heck is this? Like, let it go. Um, we got better things to do. I don't know what this is. It all has to do with money. Uh, just it has to do with money, insecurities, jealousy, and baby, I don't know. You, I never know how these karmic things thing. Excuse me. I don't. I don't. I, I never know. Okay. Um, but someone will be coming towards you, the true empress. To give you some type of friendship offer and they're hoping it'll lead to something very fulfilling. And I think it will. Um, it's going to be something that starts out very slow. You two will build a friendship. Someone may even be reminiscing about you. If you if this is someone you are aware of, it doesn't have to be an ex. It can just be someone from your past that's reminiscing about you. Um, and they want to extend some type of friendship to you so that you two can maybe gradually progress towards a relationship or working together. I do see the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands out here. So you two more than likely will end up working together and being in a reunion together. That will be very successful. But the truth is out about everybody in the situation. Someone may be sick in this situation. Uh, people are working really hard to get you sick or to just have you mentally unstable or appear to be mentally unstable is what I'm hearing. Um, they're just, what it is, is that they're burdened because everything, all the stagnations are being put to rest. Okay. All the blockages, um, all the manipulations, the lying, the cheating, the stealing, the deceiving, everything you can think of. The pretending to be something you're not. The pretending that someone is something they're not. Everything is being exposed. It's done. It's a done done. It's a done done. It's a done done done. done. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any other little details in here. Um, 
Yeah, it could be your queen of swords is going to be falling ill or maybe she's going through some type of mental breakdown. Uh, there could, I don't know what... I don't know what the heck these people were investing or why they were investing in this situation to this level. And again, I keep hearing money, money on the line, but this is not money that belongs to these people. Um, these are just people that feel entitled to what belongs to other people. If they feel that you are inferior to them, to them, they'll go out of their way to try to destroy you, um, try to deplete you of anything. And the sad part is that there are no genuine friendships in this community. So at any time, they can turn on each other and do the same thing to each other. That's You know there's no honor amongst thieves. That's a special kind of collaboration, I'm telling you. You get together to collaborate with a group of people to take someone down that haven't done anything to you, but then at any moment, you can be a target yourself. So, he. <laughs> This is like a little cult like mindset. I've been seeing the devil's uh card. This is like a cult like mindset. It's like people within an institution develop some type of cult like mentality. The Queen of Pentacles may have been the one that was the head of the cult. There's something going on with her. She may be facing some type of legal issues, um, going through some type of self-imposed imprisonment. I don't think this is self-imposed. I think this is something, well, it is self-imposed because of the action she told someone is in some real trouble. Uh, she may be feeling uh, bound or stuck at the moment. I don't know what to tell her, baby, because I think we've been warning these women, these people for a, a while now to stop doing something, but they wouldn't. Uh, people are going through a lot of anxieties, disappointments, turmoils, and things like that. People may be, someone may be crying because their lifestyle is over. Maybe someone's been out here living the bougie, a wee wee life, and now it's over. So, because it was ill-gotten gains, and the universe is big on balancing situations out, so never in life should you feel comfortable that you're going to take what belongs to someone else or have someone living in a deplorable state and you're just going to live comfortable, comfortable happily ever after. Uh, and while someone else is out struggling and barely making ends to me, you got to be a special kind of damaged to think that that is okay. And you don't feel any which way about it. You can go to bed, roll over to the other side of the pillow, pillow and get you a good night's sleep, not miss any Z's or sheeps, and feel good about yourself every day. These are people that get a thrill. They walk around with a smile on their faces, uh, chest poked out because they've been able to destroy other people's lives. They've been able to steal from other people. Um, it's really sad. There's something something here about some type of fraud that's going to be coming out. Someone will be facing legal issues for that fraud. Um, I see something here about a lot of payments, people paying for something to be done. All of that is going to be exposed. At this stage, if they are still doing this, these are people that don't even care about their future. There's a queen of wands. I think she said she got nothing to lose, so she doesn't care. So she's committed to paying to uh, paying to have someone destroy, someone block, and it's, it's going to keep backfiring on her. Um, maybe there's an empress energy that's wanting to come out of the cold and balance something out. I don't know how that's going to happen. Baby, I don't know. I, I really don't know why karmics do the things they do because it never makes sense. But again, we're all at a different stage in our healing and our journey. Some of us are farther along than other people. Uh, so where they are is according to what they're doing. What they're doing is according to where they are. Okay. But the truth is out. Clarity is out. Someone is coming towards you. They are burdened that you're going to reject them or something like that. They may have a confession um, to give you. Uh, they also receive some type of confession as well. Uh, this could be a man or a woman that's coming towards you with a confession after receiving a confession. They said, oh, now I know the truth. So y'all been lying to me this whole time. And now they're on a mission to fix something or maybe establish a friendship with you or something of that nature. Uh, there's an institution that is just absolutely burdened. These people have been worried about the truth coming out, some type of change taking place, and it is going to be taking place. I don't know what to tell them, but this change is going to be taking place. Um, there's something about a queen of pentacles that may be separating herself from a group of friends. 
Um, maybe this is someone that really never belonged with a group of friends or she's just uh, deciding to take a different route. Like she wants to do the right thing. She wants to apologize. She wants to sail under calmer waters because someone just feel isolated in a community. This could be someone you may have been friends with before and maybe she betrayed the friendship for this group of people and now something is not working out like it was supposed to. Um, they were all cheering before when they thought they had gotten away with something and now that they're all burning, maybe she's realizing their karma is not playing out in their favor so maybe she's trying to turn a new leaf um but all of them are very worried about what it is you're going to say or do because <clears throat> you're someone that may be a true speaker and whatever you're saying is putting these people to rest it's a go take a nap because this is a little bit too heavy for you okay it's putting every this whole situation to a rest making enabling you to come out of the cold and get over these blockages and still missing stagnations but there is a big bang that's coming and it's going to be really bad for these people um and i don't think this is something they're expecting it don't matter how many reads they get how many uh, pre uh practitioners high priestesses they go to nothing is going to be able to prep them for what it is that's coming because there's some type of really intense intention energy they've put out into the atmosphere for a long time and all of that is coming right back and it is going to be heavy i mean like a wrecking ball going back and forth in these people's lives and it's going to be terrible i can hear people like crying screaming just i see someone being arrested listen it's about to be really horrible and this has to do with everything these people in, invested in because you have to think when you get out here and you invest in certain things, especially negative energies, you're basically telling the universe that this is what you want for yourself. You don't have any authority to make judgment into people's lives over their destinies and things like that. You don't have any authority to do that. So if you're going to a practitioner repeatedly asking for death spells, disease spells, hatred spells, animosity spells, a uh, mental imbalance spell, mental conflict, all kinds of spell work to be done on someone. You're asking for all of that to be sent to you because that person has not manifested that for themselves. They never asked for any of those things. You're the ones at one asking. You're the ones, I'm being corrected. You are the ones asking for that. So it's going to be returned to you. And it, it doesn't have to be immediately. The universe will oftentimes let you get comfortable moving along with your journey before they start bringing the karma to hit you one at a time and then it gets to a point where you can't even take your karma but that's for a lesson for you to learn what it is that you were trying to put someone through there's a reason why you all have been coming after someone whoever you've been coming after you don't even see them on the board right just parts of their energies showing up but you don't see them on the board why because this person is far away from you all not causing you any problems not paying you no mind maybe it's not even aware of some of you may not even be aware of any of you so they're far far away minding their business not responding to this situation not sending out any negative energies and you all think you're going to get away with what it is you're doing these are people that don't have any type of relationship with the most high but these will be people that say that they believe in god but don't have a relationship with God. Um, but something, whatever you all have been doing, the ending that's coming for you all is nothing short of catastrophic, a disaster. Imagine like a tornado just kind of like just going through your house and like within an instant, everything is lost. Like everything is destroyed. That's what's about to be happening to some people with how bad something is about to play out in you all's life. Is the King of Pentacles about to lose everything? Uh, there's a man out here saying, I'm, I, uh, um, I'm about to lose everything that I've worked for. I, everything I've worked really hard to build, I'm about to lose. And that's because he's going through karma. Someone came up against the wrong person. Like, I don't know if he thought you did something to him, took something from him, said something about him. I, whatever he believed was based on a lie and it's something that's backfiring oftentimes people in the dark community they don't understand really how light workers move and sometimes when we move a little different they think we are 
out here with ulterior motives or uh, we did this or uh, someone may have even been lying to this masculine or this community and they all believed it and got on some type of bandwagon to destroy you only to find out you never did anything to whoever was telling lies um but whatever it is baby it's being sorted out it's being sorted out the truth is out about all the mental confusion all the conflicts all the uh, um old uh mentality of how people view things or how there's a place for everyone and everything those color folks stay over there we over here this could be like a community of bigots that don't know what it is how things really are uh supposed to be okay but these are people that will um deem themselves to be worthier than other people um because of how much money is in their pocket never mind the fact that maybe they even stole to get the money they don't care about any of that but all the secrets all the dark work the lie the manipulations the conflicts all the things being exposed there ain't no more secrets no more secrets um all the confusion everything is a whole lot of confusion going on people are uncertain about their futures now um uh, they've been taking a lot of risks risks out here uh, someone has been feeling risky. Um, I keep hearing someone saying, live a little, be edgy or something. So they, they may have done something to be edgy. Well, now in the universe, when you ought to be edgy, live a little, right? So you're going to be living a little for a long time, like 10 years each. Um, so this is what you were asking for, okay? Um, there's something here about a lack of self-control. And it makes sense because of how far these people went. To try and get someone's life just destroyed, you have to have some type of lack of control. Because whoever you're coming after is an Empress, Queen of Wands energy, Queen of Pentacles energy. Which means this person, they're about their business. Someone is not backing down. They know who they are. So it has a lot to do with you all liking self-control when it comes to trying to temper with someone's confidence, someone's uh, self-worth, their independence, their resources, their security. Like you all, you, you got to be a special kind of insecure when you will only feel validated in life when other people are beneath you. You're a special kind of pathetic. A special kind of pathetic. The thing that the only time you can feel good about yourself is when you destroy other people that you want people to think you're all that in the back of chair but you got to do all this maliciousness behind the scenes for things to be in your favor are you really gifted are you really in the upright when you got to cause other people burdens for things to go in your favor or for you to look a certain way are you really anyways Thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now. And thank you for your support as always to the channel. Goodbye for now.